Right friends, welcome back to Current Affairs News at a Glance. First week, China's stock market index CSI 300 index fell by 7% and state intervened and purchased stocks. This is the stock market index of China, of Shenzhen and Shanghai stock exchanges. And this is the index of 300 stocks. It fell drastically and China intervened and purchased stocks. And all is not well with the China. Stock market crash and currency devaluation took place in China. Surface Pro 4 tablet was launched in India by Microsoft. Union Minister for Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation. Uma Bharti launched Ganga Gram that is basically to curb pollution by treating sewage from villages along the river Ganga. Then, from 2016-17 onwards, Dulip Trophy will be played in day-night format. You may ask, uh, what is the Dulip Trophy? Dulip Trophy is interzonal cricket tournament. That is the interzonal cricket tournament between South Zone, North Zone, Central Zone like that. And at the same time, I would like to tell you three trophies in domestic cricket. One is Ranji Trophy, that is the domestic uh, test cricket format. Second one is the Vijay Hajare Trophy, that is the domestic one-day format. Third one is Syed Mustakali Trophy, that is T20 format of domestic cricket. So these three formats, please don't forget when it comes to domestic cricket. Look into the next one as per the official notification in paramilitary forces of CRPF, then CISF, CISF is Central Industrial Security Force. The percentage of women constables will raise to 33%, but in BSF, Border Security Force, then SSB and ITBP, it will go up to 15%. CRPF is the world's largest paramilitary force. The world's largest blue star sapphire, the star of Adam, was obtained from a mine in Sri Lanka and it is 1400 carats and the value is approximately 100 million dollars. It was found in the city of Ratnapura, which is also known as the city of gems. So, this Ratnapura is in Sri Lanka. Export duty on iron ore pellets reduced from 5% to 0%. Basically, export duties are reduced so as to make the commodity competitive in the world market. The world's first slum museum will come up at Dharavi. Dharavi is the Asia's largest slum situated in Mumbai. It houses more than 1 million people. And this first slum museum will come up at Mumbai. The World Bank lowered its estimate of a global growth forecast for the year 2016 from 3.3% to 2.9%. World Bank says, world will grow at 2.9 percent and IMF says world's growth will be around 3.4 percent. The victory streak of uh, Sania Martina Peir continues. They have recently won Brisbane International Women's Doubles title and the Peir has won seven doubles titles and two Grand Slam titles in the year 2015. Anything but Kamosh. This is the biography of Setrukan Sinha. It has got several political overtones. Look into the next one, Volkswagen, which is in the emission scandal controversy across the world, stated that in India, its diesel cars are not fitted with any defeat device. You may ask, what is defeat device? Defeat device is the device which shows less emissions. When the car or any vehicle is tested and when it is moving on the road, the emissions will be more. That is with some software, these defeat devices are being fitted. The last date for sending public comments on differential pricing for data services to Telecom Regulatory Authority of India ended on 7th January 2016. And there is lot of debate going on between differential pricing and net neutrality. The second ship in the Kamurtha class INS Kadmat, this is INS Kadmat. Kadmat incidentally is the name of island in Lakshadweep and this was commissioned by Indian Navy at Visakhapatnam. 
look into the next one amid student protests gajendra chauhan took over as the chairman of film and television institute of india pune and please don't forget the students have resorted to several days of protest against the appointment of gajendra chauhan as the chairman ministry of overseas indian affairs is merged with ministry of external affairs as per the hurun india philanthropy list 2015 This Hurun is based in China, and as per its list for 2015, Ajim Premji of Wipro is the most generous Indian of the year 2015, with donations worth around 27,000 crores of rupees. And Nandan and Rohini Nilekani is at distant second with rupees 2,400 crores, and N R Narayan Murthy is in third place at 1322 crores. for implementation of mumbai ahmedabad high speed bullet train all of you are well aware japan is giving soft loan at the point 1% interest and for fast implementation of this project a committee was headed by niti ayog vice chairman arvind panagariya was set up look into the next one union cabinet approved construction of 69 bridges and approach roads in tamu kaikor kaleva road section of trilateral highway in myanmar and please don't forget this highway connects imphal in manipur with the mandalay in myanmar look into the next one the first super critical thermal unit of 660 megawatt capacity of prayagraj super thermal power project at barat was commissioned This is in Allahabad district of uh, Uttar Pradesh and uh, please don't forget there is a train by name Prayagraj Express which runs between Allahabad and Delhi. Look into the next one Union government constituted a one member committee headed by Kamlesh Chandra this Kamlesh Chandra committee will examine the wage structure and service conditions of Gramin Dock Sevaks in the department of uh, posts. Polly Wumrigar award for best cricketer of the year 2015 has gone to Virat Kohli. This Polly Wumrigar award is given for best male cricketer and at the same time please don't forget MH Chidambaram trophy that is given for best women cricketer and it has gone to Mithali Raj of Indian Railways and at the same time please don't forget CK Naidu trophy lifetime achievement was given to Said Kirmani. wicket keeper batsman from karnataka nabard signed a memorandum of understanding with hyderabad based national remote sensing center for web based monitoring of watershed projects you may ask what is watershed project please look into this picture watershed project is basically construction of check dams so as to raise the ground water table Look into the next one Pinaka Mark 2 multi barrel rocket launcher system was successfully test fired at Pokhran Look into the next one government announced setting up of CCL Sports University in Jharkhand Supreme Court held open court hearing on a petition filed by CBI seeking review of the judgment on the Upahar fire tragedy Upahar cinema theater tragedy occurred in New Delhi and subsequently by paying of penalty the owners escaped and now cbi wanted to be reviewed look into the next one new delhi world book fair began at the pragati maidan besides world health organization and unesco 30 countries are participating the theme is the cultural heritage of india and the guest country is china union health ministry decided to utilize the expertise of global vaccine alliance recently its ceo seth berkley met the union health minister and also the prime minister and india is most likely to have strategic partnership with gavi from 2016 to 2021 and the percentage of immunization in our country will increase if india partners with gavi and the main force behind gavi is bill and melinda gates foundation please don't forget a regulatory body for indian railways railway development authority is expected to be set up shortly it will fix cost based tariffs and will delink populist decisions that means it will act as a regulator for fixing 
imposing of tariffs in Indian railways and subsequently the populist decisions of politicians will go away. Scientists discovered presence of several colonies of species of a snowflake coral off the coast of Tiruvananthapuram to Kanyakumari. Governance rule was imposed for the sixth time in Jammu and Kashmir because of a delay in government formation after the pass away of Mufti Muhammad Said. His daughter Mehbooba Mufti is not able to take a decision for several days. Senior IAS officer Shailesh has been appointed as Registrar General and Census Commissioner. He replaces C. Chandramauli and he will be in that post up to 28th July 2017. Noted Hindi writer and journalist Ravindra Kaliya passed away in New Delhi. He served as the director of Bharati Agnanpit. The Union Cabinet has given post facto approval to Memorandum of Understanding with Bangladesh for setting up of border hats on India-Bangladesh border. Border hats, please look into this picture. The border hats basically serve availability of essential commodities for the people around that area in both the countries. Gujarati writer and poet Lab Shankar Thakur passed away in Ahmedabad at the age of 80 years. Exercise Shakti 2016 joint military training exercises between India and France focused on counter-terrorism operations were held in Bekaner in Rajasthan. Look into the next one, India's first river information system to facilitate safe and accurate inland waterway navigation. This was launched between Haldia and Farakka on Ganga River in West Bengal. Kunal Shah, the founder and CEO of Free Charge, was appointed as the chairman of Internet and Mobile Association of India. Look into the next one. Raghuram Rajan, Governor of Reserve Bank of India, was complimented with the Central Banker of the Year Award for Global and Asia Pacific by the Financial Times monthly publication, The Banker. Discovery and assignment of elements with atomic numbers 113, 115, 117 and 118 were announced by International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. This International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry is a Switzerland based organization. Country's biggest road project by cost, Jujila Pass Tunnel in Jammu and Kashmir with a cost of 10,050 crore was bagged by IRB Infrastructure Developers Limited. It has led into several controversies. Anyhow, it is 14 kilometers long and is on Srinagar Kargil Leh Highway. 600 megawatt Kakatiya Thermal Power Project Stage 2 was commissioned at Bhupalapalli in Varangal district of Telangana. Indian shooter Apoorvi Chennela won gold in women's 10 meter air rifle event at the Swedish Cup Grand Prix and broke the world record. Economist Paul Kaba Tiba, named as new Prime Minister of Burkina Faso and he was appointed by the President Rock Mark Christian Kabor. Look into the last one, Rajasthan Atomic Power Project became the first in the country to become eligible for the Power Ministry's incentive program under which power transmission projects achieving early completion will be incentivized. Right friends, with this uh, let us conclude the news at a glance and uh, please do join for other modules. Have a nice day. Thank you.